When it comes to real regimentation, man's got nothing on bees, and a wise man never upsets their routine without proper precautions. In any case, formal dress is insisted on when your bees, like Mr. Cecil Tonsley's, are something in the city. 80,000 of them live on the roof of this editorial sanctum in Fleet Street. A puff of smoke, and in little more than a minute, the whole hive is quiet. Though you think there'd be proof against smoke in the city, but his bees are not cockneys. They're a prized Italian strain, highly esteemed by the 116,000 beekeepers of Great Britain. Adequate room for storing and ripening honey. That's what bees need above all else in the active season. To help them, he's going to give them a new top story flat, but first he'll need to exchange references with the large, long-bodied lady who is their queen. The honey in the brood chamber is sacred to the queen and her family, and no wise beekeeper ever robs her of a nuns. She lays her own weight in eggs daily, and this means a citywide quest for food, hopeless until you remember the golden pollen in the city streets. What Mr. Tonsley has done is to inspect the brood chamber, make sure that the larder's well stocked for the queen. Gorged with honey, she'll be too fat to crawl through the narrow frame or exclude her. This means that the honey in the new top story can be regarded as a legitimate preserve by man. Money capital or honey capital? London has in its time seen many a strange harvest, but the strangest of all is honey, 64 pounds of it in a season, ripened by a Fleet Street population, not of wasps, but of bees. 